different disease, but a similar concept. We're always interested in the patients that do, don't do well currently. This is a very rare disease that in general uh, is difficult to treat, but we've known for a long time that the epigenetic regulator ASXL1 is particularly important in mutations, truncating mutations in that gene, we've known for as a high-risk feature for a long time. So in this study, we were very interested in understanding what does the um, what does the mutated ASXL1 do to the epigenome? And so we used a very broad multi-omic strategy to sample DNA methylation, hydroxymethylation, DNA accessibility, um, different uh, histone modifications, along with uh, gene expression again to understand what happens. After defining what high-risk gene expression looks like in this disease, in ASXL1 mutant CMML, we're able to show that there is a widespread remodeling of the epigenome, particularly um, an uncovering of oncogenic enhancers. So there's a lot of uh, de novo accessibility of enhancer elements that target high-risk leukemogenic genes. So one of the uh, main outcomes of this is that there seems to be a extended spectrum of transcription factors that uh, binds to uh, these enhancer elements, and that is probably one of the supporting factors in um, stimulating this high-risk gene expression. Uh, this is again of uh, interest for therapeutic target discovery, as we now have several small molecules in phase one studies that can disrupt the interaction between transcription factors and their targets. And again, we're looking for novel ways to treat these uh, diseases that so far have been very difficult or challenging to treat in clinical practice. Yes.